it's Kelly from Soying Shane. Thank you for joining me. This week I'm going to make a loaf of soap using black raspberry and vanilla from um, Aroma. This fragrance oil has notes of blackberry, raspberry, rose and jasmine on a base of vanilla and musk and it only has 0.02% vanillin and vanillin is that naughty little ingredient that turns a beautiful soap into a horrible brown colour. So with 0.02% I should be able to combat any um, change of colour with a little bit of titanium dioxide. So in my big bucket here I have my oils. I have got some coconut oil, olive oil, palm oil, shea butter and castor oil. And then in this bucket here I have my water with some sodium hydroxide dissolved into it and a little bit of tussar silk. And to calculate how much I need I use soap calc. What I'm going to do is pour my lye water into my oils, give it a bit of a mix up and then we're going to separate it out for some colours. And this week we have a new stick blender because my old one actually fell apart on me. So we'll see how this one goes. So in my jug here, I have a little bit of a mix of colours. I have some black pearl mica from my micro obsession, and I have some berry bliss mica, which I got from um, Bath Bomb World. Both are here in Australia. So I'm going to pour that in there. The idea is I want quite a dark purple there. And I also have, I'll just grab another jug, I want a jug of some white. My main accent colour is going to be pink. So we'll pour some off for a bit of white here. And I'm going to give myself just a little bit more purple. Now I'm soaping a little bit hotter than room temperature. Our room temperature today is sitting at 19 degrees. So I have warmed my oils up to about 27 degrees here. So I'm going to pour my water dispersible titanium dioxide into that little jug there. And into my big pot, I'm going to use some of this raspberry soda. Now raspberry soda is no longer available from my micro obsession but I'm pretty sure there'll be another colour suitable. So I'm going to put in about, or I might put in a little bit more. And because I don't want this quite such a, that sort of brighter pink, I want it to come out that really nice raspberry pink like I did in the fresh raspberries. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of the Nurture Soaps Really Red Mica into that as well. And then I'm going to give that a mix up and stir in the fragrance oil. So we've got all the fragrance and colours mixed in there and I'm just going to grab my mould here. I'm going to pour in a fair bit of the pink and then I'm going to just slowly pour in bits of the purple and white. I'm also going to save myself a bit of that white to do a little bit of piping on the top but not too much. So I'm going to start pouring this in now. Now I am hoping that the um, quality of the videos is going to improve a little bit. I, for years, I have actually been using Windows Movie Maker to do all my movie editing and things like that. I, even though I've only had my soap making channel for um, a short time, I have actually got another channel that I used to do a lot of craft videos on. And I haven't actually done anything on there for a little while now. But, I'm just going to top that up there, that's better. So I've... I started off using Windows Movie Maker to make um, my movies with and it, it really is quite a good program to use. It's nice and simple and easy. 
um, and you can get some really good effects from it. But I've heard a lot of people saying about using Photoshop um, to do the video editing. So I decided to treat myself to the Photoshop program and I have been slowly trying to teach myself how to use it. It is a bit of a learning curve from the Windows Movie Maker, which um, has a lot of it has a lot of the same features, but in Movie Maker, it actually does the work for you. So it has all the sort of um, all the different motions and that sort of thing preset into it, so you don't have to do too much of that work whereas using movie maker uh, using photoshop sorry you actually do have to do a bit more of that sort of editing work so my last video that i actually put up i did use it and i will be using it again for this one it seems to make a a bigger file which i think is giving a better quality of video so hopefully um, that is right and that you are actually seeing a better quality so if you do see any cheesy sort of video editing things I do apologize I'm just having a bit of a play with the program so if you do see any of the sort of pop-ups and that sort of thing that's what's happening I'm just having a play with all of the features that are available in that software so for some reason that purple has actually thickened up on me so the sort of look I was trying to get really isn't kind of working. That's alright, it's still going to look pretty I think. What I'm going to do is get the rest of this purple in. I'm just going to give it a bit of a stir to loosen it up a little bit. I might put a bit more of that white in as well. And where's my white spatula? There it is. And then I'm going to put a hanger through it as well. So let's pour a bit of white down here. We've had an awful lot of rain today. Um, it comes down in huge bucket loads. And the last shower that came through, I kind of got stuck in the in the shed I couldn't get back to the house and as I've looked out the back window of the shed I've seen that one of the side windows to the house is open but I can also see that there's water all over the actual window so I'm dreading going back in there to see how much water has actually got in through the windows we do have eaves on the on the house but for some reason whenever it kind of rains really heavily it's um, kind of manages to get into the into the windows anyway it's a real pain in the bum but all right I've got that done I'm just going to pop in my hanger so although it is raining we desperately need rain here in Australia especially out west they've not had rain for or a good amount of rain for years here in the city area it's literally been months since we've had rain so it really has been a welcome change to get a little bit of rain around here the gardens desperately need it a lot of the natives which usually don't need much um, rain they're really struggling at the moment so hopefully this rain is doing them all a lot of good I can certainly hear that the birds are enjoying it so I'm just going to keep scraping out these pots here and then I'm going to use some of that white that's left to do some piping on the top and I have some little embeds for the top of this soap. interest to the top where I can I'm just going to do a little bit of a swirl and try and bring some of that purple up to the surface as well it's not going to be too much because I have got some embeds and I'm going to do just a tiny bit of piping 
but because this has thickened up quite nicely by adding this little bit of swirl where there's going to be no piping it does also add a little bit of texture onto the soap and gives it that little bit of interest there so I think whoop, I'm happy with that and I'm going to go and get this white sorted out so we can do the top of this soap okay so my white soap has set up nicely and I've just popped it into a piping bag and I have got a 1m piping tip on the bottom of this one here and all I'm going to do is just bring that down to the bottom oh it's still a bit runny <laughs> yeah but that's all right we'll we'll get going because I kind of want it to look like cream on the top of the soap here and what I'm going to do is just on each bar of soap I am going to put a dollop of cream or what is meant to look like cream so a dollop of soap on each of these here and this is very runny still so I'm just going to keep going I'm alternating because I don't really want them to um, kind of join up into each other like my normal piped tops are I want them to actually have their own little individual dollops so we've got right to the end there I still have lots of soap in here so some of these I might just add just a bit more onto the top just to give them a bit of height okay so with this leftover um, soap that's in the piping bag I'm just going to pipe it into um, this little ice mold that I've had from Ikea I think this one came from and then these can just be popped into online orders and things like that just so people get a feel for the soap and they also get to have a bit of a smell because this um, ice or this piping is still quite runny it will actually come out as a really nice smooth soap so we'll just tap that down and then we'll move on to actually putting the embeds onto the top of the soap okay so for the top of the soap what I have so last week we did the fresh raspberry soap and I also used that same mold to make some little black raspberries and black raspberries really are a real fruit out there and they do come up this dark purple so they're not the same as blackberries um, but they are a a variety of raspberry also from last week's soap I had some of these flowers that we piped out after I did the top so I'm going to pop one of those on as well and I also have some little leaves that I've made with melt and pour so I'm hopefully going to put all of that onto the top of these soaps so I'm going to pop a raspberry just in the middle there with maybe a, a little flower just off to the side and a little leaf as well just to finish off and I'm going to try and place them so that when I cut my soap I'm not cutting into any of these embeds so I might just have to put the flower so it comes off of the cream and that should do so I'm going to pop all of these on here Okay, so I've had a lot of questions about the mold that I made for my raspberries and also the little bee. Now I had a few other soap ideas in my head of things that I want to make and that did involve making some more molds. So I have been and got myself some more of the pinky sill um, silicon mold making and I will be doing a video on that. I believe it will be coming up next week. Um, I'm just going to move some of that off of that soap so make sure that if you haven't actually subscribed to the channel and you're interested in seeing how I make my molds for the soap hit the subscribe button and then the little bell and it will alert you when I bring the next video out um, so not only will I be making some molds using the pinky seal I'll then actually show you how in another video how I make the little soapy embeds using it as well just to show how simple the product actually is to use so I've got all my little raspberries in there like that now I'm gonna go and pop some leaves on it and I'm kind of almost thinking I don't really want 
those little flowers now so I'm gonna see if I can get him off I have a little skewer in here I'm kind of thinking that the white dollop that I've put on can pretty much almost be the flower that um, that the raspberries actually grow out of so I'm just going to pop a little leaf onto each of these little black raspberries we'll turn that one around like so and that's how I actually like to soap I know some people have great big drawings of how they want the soap to look and things like that but there's just so many variables in soaping that you really can't control so as much as I can be very OCD about things um, that I can control I have slowly learned through making candles and soaps that there's certain things in life that we really just cannot control and you really just need to go with the flow so I'm still pretty I'm particular with how I'm placing things but I'm always quite happy to change something if I do need to and I found that to be a really useful thing to be able to do when making soap because suddenly a fragrance oil that has played really nicely with you in the past um, something can be different you could just have a slightly different humidity level um, like today we've got lots of rain it's quite cool I've soaked with black raspberry vanilla before and it stayed nice and fluid whereas today the temperatures must just have affected it so I had to work a bit quicker and the design I actually wanted on the inside I don't think I'm going to get but that's okay I'm quite happy with how that's coming up so as always I just try and go I have a vague idea of how I want it to look and then I kind of just go with the flow and do whatever the soap is telling me to do on the day so what I'm going to do just to finish this off I have some blizzard mica from my micro obsession in one of the nurture soaps glitter spray pumps and I'm just going to give the berries and leaves just a very quick spritz with the blizzard mica and it adds a really nice sheen and it brings out all the the divots that are actually in those black raspberries there so I will bring you down for a closer look of black raspberry and vanilla okay so here is black raspberry and vanilla up close we've got all the little black raspberries sitting in what was going to be cream but is now their little flower with their little leaf as well I am going to leave this to sit for about 18 to 24 hours and then I'll come back and cut it tomorrow and we'll see what swell we've got in it it is smelling absolutely amazing at the moment and I do know from past experience that black raspberry and vanilla does hold in soap as it cures so I'll be back again shortly so black raspberry and vanilla is now all set up it is smelling delicious the pink has dried a little bit paler than what I was hoping for but it's still a really pretty colour there and the top is really nice and shiny and glittery with that blizzard mica on the top there. I did also mould the little ones out of the ice tray and these will get um, put onto the curing rack and once ready they will go out with some orders that get received online. So I'm going to line this up in the soap cutter here and I'm going to come directly down. I do know that some of the cream is going to get cut but I hopefully won't cut any of the raspberries. What I am going to do is flip this around. With my mould I end up with like a little 5ml piece at the end that becomes a sample piece that goes out and that just means that when I line it up on the soap cutter I need to make sure I put that end with the 5 mil at this end down here so that all my embeds line up nicely with my cutter that is much better so now I'm just going to come straight down I know some of the little cream or flower spots are going to get cut but that's okay as long as the black raspberries aren't so through the top almost to the bottom and off we come we'll grab this end piece here and we have got a gorgeous looking swell there and the colors even though the pinks a little bit paler than what I was hoping for that purple has come up beautiful against the pink so I'm very happy with that here is the next piece and I'll just grab this third piece here so it's come up really nice, nice wispy lines as well. 
Um, I don't think I'm going to quite get a butterfly in here, but I wasn't really trying to achieve it. I don't really try and achieve that butterfly look. I love the look of the butterfly when people do do it in their soaps, but I just always feel then that I don't want to sell each of the soaps individually. I want to sell it as a pair so that people get that full butterfly effect out of the soap. So I don't try, but I do occasionally get the odd little butterfly patterns through my soap as well. But as I said, I'm really pleased with how this has come up, despite the fact the pink is a little bit too pink for my liking. But um, the purple has come up really nice against it. So I hope you have enjoyed watching me make my black raspberry and vanilla soap. This one should go up on the website in the first week of October and will be available to, for sale there and I'll also have a few bars available at the Cleveland markets with me as well. If you have enjoyed watching me make my black raspberry and vanilla soap, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. I will get back to you with any questions that you may have. And if you haven't already, why not hit the um, subscribe button and the little bell and it will let you know the next time I bring you a video. And I can tell you that the next video will be about how I make the, the moulds using the pinky seal. So until next week, have a good one. Bye.